How does salmonella get into seafood? One of my most memorable breakfasts was a delicate dish of precision sliced raw fish with a pale sweet dollop of wasabi on the side, eaten soon after dawn in a sashimi bar in Tokyo's famous fish markets. The sashimi was so fresh it zinged. Not many food safety specialists eat raw fish, but if there is anywhere in the world where you can trust your sashimi to be fresh and correctly prepared, it is Tokyo fish markets. Raw fish is risky, and in 2021 it made dozens of people ill with salmonellosis. While we often associate salmonella with poultry foods, the investigation report for the 2021 outbreak gives us some good insights into salmonella and seafood. Altogether, 115 people in the USA were reported as sick, with 20 requiring hospitalisation in that outbreak. The proportion of victims who reported eating seafood, and particularly raw fish or sushi, were high compared to normal populations, which provided a clue as to which food types might have been the source of the salmonella. At the same time, investigators were asking victims what they ate. A public health testing laboratory was running genomic sequencing on the salmonella from the patients. They discovered that the bacteria from this outbreak was genetically similar to salmonella strains that had caused an outbreak in the previous year. In the previous outbreak, sushi-grade tuna and salmon were implicated, but investigators could not trace them to a supplier. In the later outbreak, the investigators could trace the implicated seafood products to a single seafood distributor. They visited the distributor's factory and collected swabs from equipment, walls and floors. The outbreak strain was found in 13 of 132 swabs taken from the floor and floor drains. How did salmonella get into food from floors and drains? Officials from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, who inspected the facility discovered that staff were using high-pressure hoses to clean the floors and drains of the factory while there was fresh product nearby. This high-pressure washing caused contaminated water droplets to splash onto food contact surfaces like filleting surfaces and cutting boards. The FDA also noted other hygiene failures at the facility, including incorrect concentrations for sanitizers, condensation dripping onto product contact surfaces, and staff cleaning drains with gloved hands, but not changing their gloves afterwards. These are all opportunities for salmonella to get onto surfaces and from there onto the fish that touches those surfaces. What was salmonella doing in the drains and floors in the first place? Salmonella occurs naturally in the intestinal tracts of humans and animals, including birds, reptiles and farm animals. Salmonella can get onto floors if a person walks across bird feces or rodent feces on the ground. The salmonella transfers from the person's boots onto the floor. On a seafood factory floor which may be constantly wet and littered with food debris, bacteria can grow and multiply. It is possible for a single salmonella cell to multiply to millions of cells in just a few hours. In a properly operating factory, floors are thoroughly scrubbed to remove all food debris that could feed the bacteria or provide it with a shelter from cleaning chemicals. After the debris is removed, floors are sanitised with hot water or chemicals or both. In this factory, however, the sanitizers were not being used at the right concentration. As a result, live bacteria were probably being washed into drains. Cleaning drains is difficult. It can be hard to reach every nook and cranny with a scrubbing brush, and so biofilms can build up. Biofilms are slimy masses of bacteria that are very difficult to kill with chemicals because they are protected by their own slimy secretions. Takeaways For consumers, the main takeaway is that you have to trust that your raw fish is coming from a safe and clean place. The victims of the 2021 outbreak ate sushi that was made with contaminated raw fish. They had no way to tell it was contaminated, and that sucks. I love sushi, but I prefer to eat it in a place where I've seen it prepared, like in Tokyo. For food safety professionals, the takeaways are non-revolutionary. Keep production areas clean. Prevent condensation drips from landing on equipment. Don't perform high-pressure cleaning operations when there is exposed food in the area. Check sanitizer concentrations every single shift. Leave sanitizer in contact with surfaces for the recommended contact time. 
Don't let biofilms build up in drains. Swab. Train your staff on correct glove use so they don't put drain germs on food. These hygiene processes are basic, but they save lives and prevent recalls and save money. A company that had a salmonella-related recall in 2022 said it cost them around $33 million. Could hosing a drain while there is exposed food nearby cause a foodborne illness outbreak and cost your company $33 million? You bet it could. And always you can find links to the sources that I've shared here in the post and the email.